all right guys this has been a few days since the video maybe a week or so anyhow uh i've got the wire loom on the uh the harness here and i'll show you uh, we'll start down here this is your transmission plugs uh that's your uh shifter on the side of your transmission the plug there and then you got your oxygen sensors ground uh come back over here to another ground another oxygen sensor splits off to all your uh injector plugs uh your coil plug right there comes all the way up to your uh map sensor that goes to your air box uh i might have said it wrong but anyhow you know where it goes uh these are all your plugs for your oil sending unit or whatever whatever plugs they are but they'll they'll go back here uh it'll be for your oil sending unit this uh sensor here then your one up here uh it'll also go to your uh your knock sensors that goes underneath your intake then uh, the other side is your coils and uh, your front uh, plugs for your alternator uh, stuff like that and then your uh, injectors over here this is the oil sending unit plug right here and it comes over here to your PCM mounts and it splits off here these are all your gauge wires for uh, when you put your new uh, gauges in your truck for your oil pressure speedometer tack stuff like that uh it comes over to i'm not going to use the uh the fuse box that i said i had made for my truck uh, i didn't like it i'm gonna end up using something different but these are all my wires these are all my uh key power source right here and then these are my constant 12 volt goes right here then it runs down to my relays for my fan and my key powered. Uh, this is how I get the power to those uh, fuse boxes for that right there. I got the key powered and the constant powered. And this is where all this stuff will run to my fans and uh, straight to the battery also. So, yeah. Hope you all like it. All right, guys, as you can see, I got my harness done. Uh, I got a little board, and uh, I've started doing something, and I'll show you. I have started cleaning up a little bit on my motor. Uh, I'm not too worried about cleaning up a whole lot because uh, I'm going to have this motor completely redone. So uh, the machine shop, I'm going to have it bored to uh, 5.7. So the machine shop, he's going to rework all the heads and uh, everything. So he'll give it a, I guess, a, a bath and it's like a supersonic or something, acid or something. I don't know what it is he does, but this stuff will come back looking brand new. But I just wanted to take it around. Uh, I want to show you something. Give a big shout out to a gentleman. Uh, he's on Facebook. He makes uh, motor mount adapters for your uh, LS swaps. Uh, and this is not the cheap made stuff either. I mean, you can see it's it's real, real thick metal. Uh, the guy sends you instructions and everything how to mount them. Sends the bolt, the, the hardware with it. Also, I got the uh, PCM slash uh, fuse box tray that he makes. Uh, I'm not going to use mine as I said earlier. Uh, he sends all the hardware with it also. It bolts to the fender. Um, it looks to me it makes it look a whole lot cleaner than uh, than what I would have been able to do. Uh, these little plastic rings right here, they're spacers. Uh, I'll show you. Your fuse box is basically going to mount right here, just like that. Uh, let me stand it up there. And uh, he's already got all the holes and everything drilled. Uh, he does this, I believe, on a CNC uh, table. But uh, it goes just like that. Your wires run from underneath of it, and that's the reason why he's got a cutout right there. But not only that, you have a brace here to help keep everything sturdy. This will bolt to your fender. The the uh, ins, uh, uh, I'm sorry, under the hood. 
You also have two legs that are right here. These also bolt and he he does send, uh, let me see here. This is the hardware that you'll use to bolt that to your fender. Also, uh, this is how the PCM will, will set in there. You'll use those little spacers you'll put between the, between the uh, metal bracket right here. You'll take these ones out and you'll put those spacers in there. He uh, sends the hardware, like I said, these are the hardware bolts that come with it. You'll replace these ones with this and it'll space it away. Uh, I'll show you his website. He uh, he sends everything. The guy is excellent. Does great, great work. And it's not you know little thin metal that's going to bend. Uh, it'll hold up. I love how he he actually uh, he cut notches inside of the plate, and he leaves tabs off of this and sticks it through there, as you can see, and welds that. So that's actually a really really good strong hold. This is where you can go find him at. Uh, he has a website right there. You can see down here. Pause your camera right now. Or I'm sorry, pause your video. And you'll be able to uh, go there. You can, uh, he, he sells more than just the motor mounts and stuff too, or, or this. He, uh, he's got a lot of good stuff on there. He has a, uh, he has a fan shroud that I'll be ordering for him from him uh, for my radiator. Uh, so just go on there, check him out. He's actually really nice and reasonable and easy to get along with. But uh, thank you, man. Excellent work. God bless you all. Until next time.